Hey everyone, this is Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Today I'm going to give you a look at a really cool plugin from AccuSonus called Regroover. I'm using the Pro version, but there are different versions of Regroover. And uh, this is just giving me a quick look at what uh, Regroover from AccuSonus is capable of. It's a really cool plugin that uh, can be added to any digital audio workstation that will essentially allow you to, uh, firstly, break up a sample into its core parts um, by using uh, artificial intelligence essentially and uh, break that sample up into its different pieces and then after you've broken that sample up you can then edit that sample inside of Regroover and uh, and be able to play with it a little bit so this is really cool for working with loops and kind of expanding outside of what your loops are capable of because if you find that you import loops a lot and it's just a loop and then you have to go and start cutting things up and figure out stuff that you want to use from it or don't want to use whatever that may be Regroover lets you get around that and be more creative uh, with what it is that you're doing with loops so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with a loop that I'm going to drag here into the Regroover interface. I'm working in Ableton Live, but you could do this in any digital audio workstation. Uh, and so I've dragged this, this uh, sample in, and uh, it's been automatically broken up into different parts by Regroover. Now Regroover is uh, directly connected to the host tempo of my digital audio workstation. I can see that from the button right here labeled host. And this means that Regroover is going to be synced up with my host. And so now if I hit play inside of Ableton Live, my loop is going to play back. All right, so it's a pretty basic loop uh, that I have here. And, but what has happened, again, is some magic has been applied. And this loop's been broken up into pieces. So let's listen to these different layers here. We'll start with layer one. All right, so that's the first bit. And then we'll go down to the second layer and then the third and the fourth all right so this is pretty cool uh, because again with uh, some artificial intelligence some creative filtering and the other magic that regroover applies to this loop I'm now broken this loop up into different pieces and, uh, and I can rename each of these if I would like which is probably gonna be pretty helpful to you if you're gonna get in deep here you know so you can name one of these to be kick so if I was listening to layer 3 that's basically my kick so I could double click and I can name this kick and so on and so forth so now that I've done that and I've broken this up I have a lot of different things available to me first of all I could disable or turn off certain parts of this loop So this lets me break my loop up into a lot of different ways. So if you've ever brought a loop into your workflow and thought to yourself, man, I really like the kick on this, but I'm not nuts about everything else, this is a great way to just isolate just the kick. You could turn off your other tracks, and then you could use that immediately, uh, which is incredibly cool. The cool thing about this is that now, if I find that there's a piece of this uh, kick or something else or this sample that I like, I can make use of this by uh, actually importing it into the expansion kit section of Regroover and this will essentially allow me to then play these different pieces uh, using my MIDI controller. I can also, if I find a piece that I like, I can drag and drop that into let's say an audio track here in Ableton Live and now that one little piece of the kick has been uh, imported into an audio track in Ableton Live uh, as its own clip. So this is a very cool feature and this is something that that I can see a lot of people making use of so I can again I can just find and select a piece of this uh, sample that I'm working with maybe expand it a little bit and if I put my mouse just on kind of the lower third section here of that clip I'll drag and drop again and now I've dragged that directly onto a new clip and this is just a one shot right there so this is pretty cool uh, because again this means that I can basically just break a loop up into all kinds of pieces this is something I really like because I like to use loops by breaking them up into different pieces very often and this takes it even further by allowing me to be able to break that loop up and again basically into its DNA and then find just the pieces that I like and want to use of it so this is extremely cool and again I'm doing that by just kind of double clicking on a piece that I like and then I can expand that put my mouse onto the edge grab the handle 
tool here, expand a little bit, and again I can drag and drop that into the expansion kit section if I want, which will allow me to then basically create my own drum kit by utilizing all the pieces here, or I can drag it into my digital audio workstation. So that's an exceptionally cool feature right there. Uh, the other feature is being able to uh, take sections of a uh, piece of the DNA of this sample and split them or delete them. So I'm going to grab the uh, split eraser tool right here by clicking on it to select it. And then I'm going to find sections that I want to potentially maybe do away with. And I'm just double clicking on these with that tool selected. And then you'll see that the split button starts to uh, blink right now. And if I click on that, now I'm going to take those pieces out. So if I now play that sample or that piece of that sample, I can start pulling out certain pieces of it and again I can get a little more in depth split do away with that all right so now I'm just starting to remove pieces that I don't necessarily want to uh, make use of maybe or maybe I want to just change this whole loop this clip etc so that's one of the really cool features so essentially again deep editing that I'm able to do on each of the pieces of DNA of this clip and then the next uh, cool thing that I have accessible to me is just being able to kind of essentially remix my loop on the fly and I can do that by making use of the uh, loop uh, slider right up here and on each of these uh, pieces of my clip, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. I'm just playing around with this a little bit right now. And we'll maybe kind of isolate just a piece of a kick right here. And then we'll isolate another piece here of layer four. And if I play this back, this is going to sound real different now. And everything is staying in time. And again, I'm just on the fly editing how this is playing. And so this is an extremely cool feature because, again, it allows me to really play around with this loop and do something completely different with the loop. Um, and that's one of the really fabulous things I think about Regroover is being able to just on the fly just have a whole lot of fun with playing around with loops. Again, if you find that you get stuck in a rut a lot with loops, I think this is a really good way to get out of that that rut very easily. Uh, there is also an editor here, and this is where I was talking about making use of the expansion kit, and the editor is cool because what this allows me to do, again, is sort of build my own drum kit or my own sample kit, whatever it may be, by dragging and dropping different pieces of uh, whatever it is that I'm working with here onto the expansion kit. So I can drag and drop another one here, and then maybe make use of another piece from the sample right here drag and drop that and this is all in my expansion kit so now if I jump into the editor now I can play each of these different uh, clips that I've selected by making use of my MIDI controller of course I'm just triggering them right there with the play button and then I have the option to make use of envelope editing and FX editing on each of these different pieces adjust the mix I have a waveform view right here that allows me to see it and I can also reverse what I'm working with if I want to adjust the start and the end of that and uh, really get real in depth again to be able to play around with everything that uh, that I've got here from this sample that I was making use of. And again, everything that I'm working with, I can drag and I can drop this into new clips inside of Ableton Live, which is an extremely cool feature. I also have the option to uh, create new projects and load clips and save my projects. So this is a little bit like a digital audio workstation in a digital audio workstation, but it syncs up really well with my workstation. I also can export uh, what it is that I have been doing. And so this allows me to export the layers, a mix down of those layers, a pattern, marker selection, so just from my markers, uh, the pattern marker selections, or the expansion kit pad. So everything that I that I create here inside of Regroover, I can then export out so that way I could create stems that I could give to someone else or whatever that uh, may be, whatever the next part of my workflow is going to be. I have the ability to do that inside of Regroover. Uh, so a lot of really cool features here, I got to say, uh, that I can make use of by making uh, use of Regroover. And again, if you find that you get into a rut a lot working with loops, and let's face it, that happens a lot with loops. It's really easy when you're working with a loop to just drop it in and go, that sounds cool, but then you just fall into a rut and it's just a loop. 
Regroover lets you get out of that. And because it's also just an overall really cool tool, you could use this for sound design. Because again, you could just take all kinds of pieces of uh, clips, loops, samples, whatever they may be, break them down in their DNA, and then uh, bring them into your digital audio workstation as clips. Use them as one shots in a drum machine. Use them in uh, sound design, whatever that may be. So I really uh, think Regroover is extremely cool. Uh, I've had a lot of fun playing around with it. It's definitely taken me outside of my loop-based workflow and given me, I think, a much more uh, cohesive workflow working with loops. So hope that you guys found this useful. Now you can find uh, Regroover at the AccuSonus website. And if there's anything else that you guys would like to know about Regroover, of course, please feel free to get in touch. If you'd like to learn how to use Regroover or any of your digital audio uh, workstation hardware and software uh, in real time, you can call Obedia and we will show you how to do that in real time and how to tame your technology because that is what we do best here at Obedia. As always, everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Thank you for tuning in and checking this out. And thank you to AccuSonus for providing Regroover. I highly suggest you guys check it out. And if you have questions or comments, get in touch. As always, guys, I'm Brian with Obedient PC Audio Labs. I'll see you next time and take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.